In this lesson, you will learn about differential shrinkages, specifically linear shrinkages, and their effect on molded parts. Shrinkage in molded parts is a complex phenomenon involving the part design, tool design, material, and process setup. In the simplest sense, part shrinkage is a reduction in size of a molded part. If shrinkage is uniform, the resulting molded part will be similar in all directions. On the other hand, uneven or differential shrinkages can cause a part to warp. Therefore, it is important to understand how to minimize a part's differential shrinkage potential. The term shrinkage refers to the natural material shrinkage that occurs when plastics cool. Plastic can have a volumetric shrinkage of up to 25%. In general, unfilled amorphous materials like PC, PS, ABS, etc. show less overall shrinkage than unfilled semi-crystalline materials like HDPE, PP, nylon, etc. A table of the most common materials and the range of linear shrinkages is available in your student materials. In Lesson 5, you learned how the packing profile influences overall volumetric shrinkages. Now we will look at the effects on linear shrinkages. Understanding shrinkage behavior allows part and mold designers to consider it in their part designs, the goal being more uniform shrinkages and lower molded part dimensional tolerances. For this lesson, we will evaluate and optimize linear shrinkages on a simple plate with three different wall thicknesses and an amorphous PC material. To start, let's look at the injection pressure for all four examples. The part will be processed with the same melt temperature, mold temperature, and fill time. The required injection pressure was reached at the switchover point, from fill to the packing phase. Looking at our four examples in order, you can see that the pressure decreases as the wall gets thicker and decreases even more with the center gate. Since plastic flows more easily in the parts with thicker walls, less pressure is required. The same is true for the center gated part, which we will discuss in more detail later in this lesson.